Tesla has finally delivered on many requests for Spotify to be integrated within the Tesla music player. And although that was a big victory for many, what about us Apple Music subscribers? Well, I'm Frugal Tesla Guy, and I'm going to show you your options. Up until the release of version 10 software, Tesla owners in the US could only listen to the subpar music service of Slacker or TuneIn Radio. And although music via USB or Bluetooth has always been an option, the user interface is not as intuitive or nearly as convenient as the music player on Tesla's big screen. Now, when Spotify was recently integrated in the Tesla music player, I was intrigued and decided to take advantage of the free three month trial of Spotify premium. The problem is once my three months are up, I'm going to have to make a decision. Give up my longtime subscription to Apple Music and make the switch to Spotify or keep my Apple Music subscription and go back to Bluetooth. Now that's a difficult decision because I would have to convince my wife who is on the Apple Music family plan with me to uproot years of making music libraries in Apple Music and start from scratch with Spotify. Now that being said, there are website services that will transfer your Apple Music library over to Spotify and vice versa, but that's a topic for another day. In the meantime, what is an Apple Music subscriber to do and what are your options? Let's start with what everyone is familiar with, Bluetooth. Now with the release of version 10 software, there have been Bluetooth media improvements like displaying the album art from your phone, improvements in the sampling rate for better sound quality and being able to browse the playlist you're listening to. Now on a side note, you can only view the playlist. You can't actually choose a song by touching it. It's just to look at the list in that particular playlist. There have also been improvements in volume control. Now the volume can be controlled in the Tesla music player as usual, but now it doesn't matter what the level is on your phone. So you can turn the volume up and down on your phone as much as you like. It won't change the volume of the music in the car. Now this makes for better transitions between Bluetooth and other music sources. So for example, when you switch over to the radio or slacker, you won't get blasted or it won't be so low that you'll need to raise the volume. Although all of these improvements are a step in the right direction, we're just not there yet. As I mentioned earlier, it's just not as intuitive or convenient as the Tesla music player. However, if you want to advance to the next song, no problem. Press the left scroll wheel to the right or tap the advance forward icon in the Tesla music player and it advances to the next song. The same of course applies to going back one track. You can also pause and play the music from the player as well as control the volume, but that's where it ends. Outside of that, everything else needs to be done through your phone. This means you have to pick up your phone, unlock it, and navigate through Apple Music on a much smaller screen. In early September of this year, 2019, Apple finally released a web-based Apple Music player. Now it's still in beta form. In fact, the web address starts with the word beta. But I thought I would give it a try in my Tesla Model 3 and sure enough, it works. And minus a few hiccups with the web browser version, it actually works quite well. The problem is it only works when you're in park. But even if it did work while you're driving, you would have to keep the web browser open, meaning you wouldn't be able to see the maps if you're using navigation. But not all hope is lost. Earlier I mentioned if you're using your phone as a Bluetooth source, you'll need to pick it up, unlock it, and navigate through Apple Music on a much smaller screen. However, there is an easier and safer way. I know, surprise, surprise, it's Siri. But up until now, I never really had much confidence in Siri and didn't even give it a try. But I found that it not only works, but works surprisingly well. Siri works just as it would if you were outside of the car. This means you can ask Siri to play one of your playlists, music from any era, or you can ask Siri to play a road trip music. And if Siri supports the command, you can give it. And now with the option to see the playlist, if you're not happy with it, you can give Siri another command. Now I don't want to turn this into a Siri command tutorial video, but what I will say is play around with it. 
I was surprised with just how useful and accurate it can be, from asking it to play a particular song to playing last week's top 40 hits. It has all of the functionality that you'd come to expect from Siri. And like Apple CarPlay, you can ask Siri to read your latest text or a text from any of your contacts, and will even send a message for you all by voice commands. Now you notice I did mention Apple CarPlay, but I would like to make it clear that I personally don't want to see it in Tesla. All I'm really after is Apple Music. And now that Apple has taken steps with a web-based music player, maybe this could be an outlet to make that happen? I don't know, I'm not a coder. But maybe what it really comes down to is Apple working with Tesla to come up with a solution. But I'm not holding my breath on that either. In the meantime, I'm left with making the best with what Siri has to offer. And so far, it's enough to keep me from either switching to Spotify or having a subscription to both services. Well, that's it for now. Tell me what you think in the comments section below. What are your thoughts about Apple Music and Tesla? Do you think Apple Music will ever be available? If not, are you willing to make the switch? And as always, if you like this video, you can support this channel by giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, you can click the subscribe button. And if you're buying a Tesla and would like free supercharging miles, click on my referral code link below when you order your Tesla. Well, thank you all so much for watching. And until my next video, stay positively charged. Hey, where do I find the best information about Tesla? I find that Frugal Tesla Guy is the best source of information regarding Tesla. Hey, see. Read the last text. Your latest text from Elon Musk. Hey Mike, great job on your YouTube channel Frugal Tesla Guy. Let's meet up for lunch this week. I'd like to talk about a few ideas and get your advice.